Welcome fishing. to this week's edition of Friends of Habanos. We've already started arguing. We're just commenting, uh, we're doing the Bahiki, Kahiba Bahiki today. Uh, we're doing both the 52 and 54. Um, both are from September 2010. We're just commenting about the packaging, which is beautiful. It's it? absolutely sensational. It is lovely, lovely packaging. The interesting thing is, it, is that's just a solid block there, not the usual sort of thing. Nice. Uh, can we see this? A little short stubby How can thing. they see it from there? I don't know whether they can see it or not. We'll actually do a Smitty zoom in later. Zoom in. We'll do a zoom, but Smitty's not here. So I was just talking about, this has been voted by Cigar Aficionado as the best cigar in the world for 2010. You don't look convinced. Well, some of their past uh, uh, number ones have not left me, um, shall we say, uh, overwhelmed. No? I've been speechless with some of their choices. Your speechless might be close enough. I've been speechless a few times. Yeah. Aroma of Coles, unique aroma. Tea. Yeah, the tobacco tea. Mm -hmm. Some some sort of sweet edge there. Like malt, barley. There's a little little bit of sort of malty beer character. Yeah. There is a little bit of the old left your football socks in the gym bag, which is not unpleasant in combined with all no, the other absolutely. Beats. I mean, you light it up and it'd be all over before you get started. Well, that's the trend. I don't have to follow it. I don't care what they're priced at. I don't care if Abanos comes out with these. I just want to make sure that... You I make money. Two things. <laughs> One, <laughs> that they're excellent. That they actually deserve the hype. So you haven't had any. I have not had any. No. I've never seen them before. I'm going to let you run today's little exercise. As opposed to normal? Yes. Medio tiempo is the leaf which makes this a little bit different. Absolute top of a tobacco plant. Two very small leaves, which are not always there, but that's what they've harvested and put it in here. Supple, pale, oh, look, absolutely fine. beautiful wrapper. You can feel the oil on the wrapper, right? Oh, absolutely. No, no argument, it's a very but good But they haven't thing. gone for the dark, they haven't gone for the it, model. Uh, this is just. If you judge your cigars on, on those dark wrappers, this is going to look sickly pale at death's door. But yeah, but geez, it feels, it's it, sexy to feel, isn't it? It's, it's dead it's sad, yeah, sexy feel, to the feel. You can feel it on your fingers. Yeah. I got punches, I got cutters, I got matches, I got lighters, I got, uh, you know. He's got wine. That's the most important thing, gents. He's got wine. Be back shortly. Take it away, Ken. Um, lovely, Bahiki lovely, 52. lovely, lovely cigar. Thoughts on the Bahiki 52? What are you getting out of it? Wonderfully balanced and seamless. There's a hint of that sort of vanilla-y, cedary character. Um, Gentle spice, uh, that sort of tobacco leaf. Uh, um, it's it's a richly flavoured sort of cigar without being over the top, and it's that thick dense. We're talking about the dense, just dense, dense very very dense. Without you cut it with a knife, couldn't you? Just oh. Sorry, you let, let me know if I'm interrupting you. Sorry, please. That's right. No, where were I? Yeah, the dent, that, that sort of denseness. He calls it viscosity, which I'm not necessarily as comfortable with, but uh, it's lush. It is a lush cigar. Oh, it's dense. Mm. The smoke is dense. The roll is perfect, isn't it? Your draw? Construction's ideal, yeah. It's, it's very backwards. young still. It's still young. Yeah, it's, 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 to me, I, I'm finding it young, yeah, but there's no astringency that you... No, no, no. no but no, just... There's a bit of, little bit of hotness that sneaks into the back. <laughs> Can you imagine this in five years, it's ten be, years? It'd be lovely. Yeah. Retail in Australia, they're 80 bucks a stick. I mean, I, that's why, you yeah. know. See, as long as two match sticks. Um, no. But hang on again. Hang on. If you get a bottle of wine for $80 in Australia, it's a very, very good bottle of wine, mm -hmm. but it's going to last you as long as oh, yeah, the yeah. cigar. No, no, I can understand. But um, I mean, seriously, I mean, apples and apples. Uh, oh, look, yeah, I, I agree. And uh, I'm going to share it. Well, so, no, I'm not on this one here, but you're a little bit more advanced in your cigar than I am. We'll see how it goes. We're back at the end of the first third. I don't know that much more advanced. So, all of about a millimetre. Hawk Mate, every millimetre counts. Count. <laughs> Seriously, every millimetre counts. Does he puff on it like puffing Billy? <laughs> if I'm no further advanced than you, then how have I been puffing on it like puffing Billy? Shortly. It's just that you talk all the time, so I get a chance to smoke. 52 Bahiki, can first third, wrap it up. That little bit of hotness I was looking at seems to have uh, dissipated. Um, not getting much of a change yet. Help yourself. Um, <laughs> just having a glass of rum. He was disgusted when I brought out Appleton 21, seriously. Um, I'm a huge Appleton fan. So when it comes to rum, I just doesn't do it for me. 
Thank God I'm can the, the cork. Can. You, if you do that, what do you expect? The cork broke. It, is there, at least this will be on video. <laughs> Seriously. And there's me having gone to the trouble of putting Bundaberg in that just for Shall you. Shall I push it down? No, give it to me. Well, look, it's got something in the middle of the cork. Why? That's to hold it together so idiots don't break it off. It didn't work. It has with every other bottle of it. Look, seriously, I I, I know that uh, there are some sensitive issues on the uh, forum at the moment, but I'm starting no, no, to no. I am starting I to I... wonder about evolution because you're not evidence of it. We'll be back to you shortly. <laughs> Sorry, we'll have to finish it. Okay, Ken, we've sold the rum debacle. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's yeah, not showing its best. No. I've, had a, I've had numerous of these. Oh. Um, this is good. Um, well, it's 1991 territory for me, but it's certainly not 96, 97 No, oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm sitting about the same. I, don't, I, I couldn't at this stage, based on this example only, say, yeah, people should be flinging out 80 bucks a pop for them. Uh, well, they're not. They're now on our remarkably budget website. They're not. Uh, however, that 79.95 bargain uh, working <laughs> well for you. This, no, is probably, this has probably been the youngest tasting one I've had. Um, most of mine have been April's, May's. So this is a different box. Yeah, it's a different box. You, New box you come in. Yeah. It's got all the character there. Mm. I mean, it's just it's just a little bit closed. You've been there. Look, based on this purely, it's a very very good cigar with lots of potential. But it's certainly not a great cigar at the moment. No, I mean I could I could pull out some uh, Partagas Lucy's from uh, 08, 09, and 10. I could pull out some Upper Magnum 50s from the same period, and they would certainly hold their own, if not surpass this at this point, just through the, just the kaleidoscope of flavour. Well, that was a Lucy you had on your balcony the yeah. other day. What I like about this is just the I know you hate the term, but the, the viscosity of smoke, the the flavour, it does it, it lashes the tongue. From a flavour perspective, there's certainly there's certainly coffee. There's certainly I'm getting some vanilla bean aspects vanilla, of cajun. Vanilla, yeah, yeah but yeah. I'm, I'm not so much seeing coffee. The coffee, vanilla bean for me. Mm. I'm seeing some, um, just some touches of citrus occasionally coming it's through. Little, yeah, a little bit of sort of orange rind. Medi it's medium, medium, straight on medium, medium full, but not it's, quite it's, there. I reckon it started medium, it's now edged up a bit over medium for me. I'll be interested when we look at the 54. Uh, do you notice, you've seen all three, do you notice many differences yeah, I do. I prefer the 52 over the 54, but I haven't had this batch of 54s yet. So, and, and from a quality perspective, they are brilliant. Um, the 54, see, I'm not into this sort of size cigar, to, to be honest. I don't like, I mean, you, you're in a bigger gauge cigars than I am. I mean, I... I'm, I tend to prefer the longer rather than the fat. Yeah, yeah. But if they did a 38 in this, I'd be all over it, or a 42, I'd be all over it. But I, I just don't get the same intensity of flavour that I seem to look for in cigars. Seeing what this is, I mean, I'd love to see a long thinning. Mm. I reckon that would be just something exciting. Well, given the fact that we had those tremendous Trinidad Fundadores from um, 98 and the that Lanceros was... from 01 um, recently, yep. given that we had that and we saw how brilliant they were, oh, yeah, yeah. This and the long skinny would hold its oh. its own in that. It would just be it would yeah. just be sensational. I haven't seen a lot of evolution at this stage, but it's still young. Perhaps you don't, you know, you may not expect. Are you getting evolution in yours? Good, very good, solid cigar from beginning good to cigar. end. Long term aging. This one needs another three weeks down, four weeks down, just to get past the shipment. Long-term aging, three to four weeks. No, we, these only arrived the other day. I mean, the, these need to dry out a little bit, to be honest, a little bit too moist. But um, I'm, looking, I'm looking to see how the 54 goes in comparison. Same to batch. This. I'm a 90, 90, I reckon at the moment. Yeah, I'm 91 on this. I've had 96s. I've had 91s. Worst, I've had 89. You got to give them a little bit of time down, guys. Just give them a little bit of time down. But they show all the pedigree to be something quite spectacular. The, the and I've had them, which are spectacular. Right now, this is actually, I was a bit underwhelmed with this. Um, 91, and it's pretty hard to be underwhelmed with a 91, I suppose, but well, I'm, I'm 90, I was expecting 94, 95. If, you, if you'd have told me, I, I would have been expecting... And having had 94, I've, yeah, cigar, but I've, having had 94, 95s, and, and to be honest, as cigar aficionado and David Savona and the team, I mean, they would have had several of these over the course of the year, mm -hmm. and, and if I was to rate the, the Cohiba Bahiki, 52 over several tastings since February. 
I'd say overall to 94, 95 cigar. This one's a 91. That's the way the, the cookie crumbs. Yeah, this one's this one's just scraping 90 for me. Let's get another 54. Yeah. Get another bottle of rum, can we go to the 54? Seriously, what we're, here. we're here to work. I'm going to finish this. You're going to have to sit and wait. Cheers, guys. Have a Bruce. Oh, Christ, I hate Bruce. You hate Bruce? Uh, ego. I, I'm just shoved over here because I can't fit on the balcony with his ego. You do a Smitty zoom in, zoom in. We'll do a zoom, but Smithy's not here. Well, he seems to manage magic. Uh, um, there you go, Smithy. You manage magic. He does. He does. He does a wonderful job. What, yeah. what you have to put up with, Smithy?